Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new Unreal Engine 5.7 Meta Human Creator plugin. And yes, I said 5.7 because today, whenever I got the new update, it's 5.7. So that said, let me go ahead and show it because I know I'll have people have trust issues nowadays. 5.7. Now, I made a video about this yesterday, but the version I had was like a week old or so. And I saw that they added a bunch of stuff in there. So with this new version, this is the latest and greatest. And as you can see right here in the head, we didn't have these thumbnails yesterday. But it looks like now you can see some more preset metahumans in here in different shapes and sizes, which is pretty darn cool. Now we do have the old ones, the OGs like Ada and AoE, but we have some pretty new ones in here that we can see. Now I'm in the head right now, but to show you the presets that they added even more, if you go to library, you're going to see that we have some of the old ones, but we also have some of the new ones. It looks like they finally made me a metahuman right here. Trey's still here. Vivian's still here. It looks like they changed some of the old ones as well to just kind of change it up a little bit. Like this guy, I remember. And this guy, I think they made into, I don't know what kind of style that is, but what really caught my eye when I saw this is the MetaHuman 003. So let's go ahead and double click that because I do not remember seeing this hairstyle at all. This is like twisted braids, man. This is dope. So I'm going to double click on that. And right away, this preset is going to load up. It's still loading. Sorry. I mean, this looks amazing. And one of the things you're going to notice, bro, like the textures... The textures is not messing around anymore. Like, bro, that shit looks good. Like, for me to sculpt that from scratch, for me to make this character from scratch, I would have to go to college for four years and do a bunch of research paper. But with just one click, we're able to create this amazing looking character with fantastic hair. And yes, I'm pretty sure that's simulated hair too. Dude, this looks fucking good. So yeah, this is one of the, this is probably my favorite preset right now because this looks really amazing. And once again, the textures are much higher, even though it looks like there's still 8K textures. Um, you know, I can always just replace that with a 16 later. Uh, so here's Trey. Again, you're gonna notice some of the uh, old ones we have. Now again, if we go to the head, you'll see what we just had in there. Transform the teeth is the same way. Eyelashes is gonna be in the head, which we saw. The materials in here, I feel like they also upgraded the um, the textures on the presets, right? So we have face texture index here. Right now we're using 94. So we'll go to like one, which is young. I mean, they have what, 152 now? So if you like pick a number, 69. This is crazy, dude. Like they upped, they like upped the quality of the face textures in here which is freaking incredible. This is so cool because you can like create a younger version and then, then you have the like a movie that they age a little bit and you can kind of show it. <sighs> freaking A, dude. All right, it looks like you can also change the skin. So if I go to like three, I think there's eight total. So that's cool that you change the body and the face separately. But for now, we'll just... Leave this at two. All right, so let's go to the hair real quick. I didn't notice anything else but the braids for the actual hair and the eyebrows with the slit, which was already, we're already using here. So this template right here is pretty much all new, which is kind of cool. And if you scroll down right here, we do have a slot for clothing. As you can see here, it just says drag a folder or compatible asset here. We don't really have anything else in there. But if they were to put that, I guess that's where we're probably going to get the traditional, the old uh, clothing in here. But how many are they going to add? I'm not so sure. And it looks like they have accessories here just right behind me as well. Prepare, unprepare, wear, remove accessory properties. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but this is looking pretty promising if you ask me. Like they spent a lot of time with making this new plugin. Uh, I hope they kind of go with it.
the whole way. All right, so before I go, what we'll do is let's go ahead and assemble this real quick so we can have it in the uh, editor so we can take a look at it in some lighting. Uh, for the assembly, you can actually choose Cine, which is Cinematics Optimized for Games, and then UFN and then DCC if you want to take it to Blender or Maya or whatever. Uh, the face skeleton changed from far face archetype to skull face, looks like. Uh, we'll just leave everything in MetaHuman Base. And as far as I know, again, there's really zero documentations on this. Um, I think we have to download the textures first. So let me download the face and the body texture. And then what, would, well, what we're going to have to do next is actually uh, rig this character. And then it's going to convert it into an actual blueprint all in here. Now, you are going to have to sign in. There is a pop-up that says you have to sign in to use MetaHuman. But it didn't open up a new browser for me to do things. It's just staying everything within here. So there you go. We downloaded the textures. And what I'll do now is calls auto rigging service and receives joints only DNA. I'm going to do a full rig. So this is going to be auto rigging the face mesh. Now to me, I feel like they should have put the download textures on the left. So it's kind of like a left to right process instead of right to left. Because I think you have to download the textures before you can actually create the full rig. But I don't know. I'm just kind of talking about what I think would be best. All right, so once it's done rigging, you just got to press save in here. And you should see something at the bottom. Right now, I have to like go to body and then go back to assembly. It should show up as assemble, so we'll do that. And what this is going to do is actually convert this into a blueprint. Now, again, there's no documentation on this. Like always, I just go in here, mess around, click a couple of buttons, then, you know, see how it works. But I'm sure some other people can watch this video, make a video of it, and get millions of views. Okay, so once that's done, I can close this out. And we're here in the MetaHuman lighting scene. If I go to Content Browser, browser here, I'm going to find now a MetaHuman. So I'll just swap this to our Blueprint view so we can see it right away. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to enable any plugins. And it looks like our character is here, so I'll just kind of reset it to zero. And here is our MetaHuman character. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to import a facial animation that Brian did uh, a long time ago that he shared. Uh, as far as I know, it, this is an older version of MHA. I think it was when it was first released, so I don't even think it has Tongue Solver. So just keep that in mind, but I still like to use this facial uh, animation because it's really good. Kind of shows me what's broken and what's not. So if I go to Downloads... I'll just use uh, Brian's gymnastics in here. Just use the MetaHuman. And uh, yeah, let's take a look and see how the facial rigging looks. Press play. Make this a little bit smaller here. I mean, overall, this is looking pretty darn good. I don't see any clipping on the teeth. That's solid. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. I mean, Brian can can make like craziest faces, super talented. Look at this, the the, the mouth blowing. That's freaking amazing. Oh I yeah, mean, and if you hand animate this, even this two thousand keyframe animation. Oh yeah, this right here, the lift plate. That's pretty darn good. Yo, that's that's good. What the f yo, the, that rig, that rigger actually has improved. That looks really good. It clipped maybe a little bit. Yeah, the tongue solver is not there yet. As you can see, it's clipping to the, the tongue. But yeah, bro, that's, I'm sorry, man. That's amazing. So this update so far, even though it's an experimental phase, I'm already blown away by it. I was making an Unreal Engine 5.6 MetaHuman course, like an updated version, but obviously with this coming out, I'm going to have to add this portion to it. I know people have been asking me for an updated MetaHuman workflow kind of deal. I am making one. I was already shooting it, editing. I was editing it, but I think what I'm going to do since this 5.7 is already out, I'm just going to add this also in there so that you can have the latest and greatest because as far as I know, the cloud option is still available. 
but obviously a lot of people are going to be using this instead because it's it's right in the engine and you don't have to go in the cloud or any web browser or anything like that but that's pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video and want me to make more unreal engine 5 content just like and comment uh youtube's being really strange it's not really pushing a lot of positivity uh, Unreal Engine 5 videos to users and viewers. You've seen a lot of negative Unreal Engine 5 videos, which is unfortunate. I have a couple of Unreal Engine 5 YouTubers as well saying the same thing. So if you want me to make more videos, just hit the like button and comment. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.